Hi friends, my name is Abdul and in this video I will show you that how you can run a three phase AC motor using a, a PIC18F452 as a controller. So as you can see on my screen here that I have mentioned different blocks. The first one that we are going to discuss here is a AC to DC converter. So what AC to DC converter does, it's basically a converter, a simple that we have an incoming supply of main AC of 220 volts and 50 hertz and this is converting by using four diodes into AC DC and then this DC is filtered and also I add a LED indication that the circuit is running and uh, from 220 volts AC we are getting 320 volts DC as you know the formula that uh, which will convert your AC into DC volts so that's the first part now the second part is uh, over here is PIC 18F452 so we are using this one as a controller I have also used Arduino UNO and uh, Arduino UNO and there are different part types like Mega, Nano and other controller as well like as STM32F4 Discovery. So the scheme that I have deployed here it's a very simple and straightforward technique. So I have also added a LCD display. So mm, the purpose of this LCD display is just to check at what point we are running and uh, I also added a feedback but in this video I am not showing you the feedback maybe in my other videos I will explain you how the feedback works I tried my best to add a feedback in this but as you know that uh, Proteus is a little bit slow so to track that feedback and generate that pulses and it's not that good results that I have found over here maybe it's my mistake but uh, uh, so far the results are not good in a feedback but over here as you can see that um, I will run the circuit so the second thing is that this uh, pulses as you can see that they are uh, I'm basically generating a three pulses and the four one is basically the selecting pulses so mm, then the selecting pulses will divide and provides six speed of gains to our IR2110. IR2110 is basically a gate driver circuit for the IGBT MOSFETs. So for this MOSFETs I am using IR2110 and I also have designed this circuit using IR2112, IR2101, IR2102 and there are many other more drivers as you may know so this driver mm, what does is basically as the signal from the controller is basically 3.3 volt or 5 volt so PWM is basically 5 volt or 3.3 volts depending on the controller from which it is coming so then this PWM is basically the actual signal that is needed to that is needed to be implemented by that IGBT switching so for that what we do is add, add this 3.3 cannot trick the MOSFET or IGBT to turn on or turn off so for that only we need to act as that 5.5 volts is to boost it up at 12 volt or at 15 volts 18 volts depending upon the MOSFETs or IGBT that you are using so the signal is the same it's the same signal which is mm, coming from the uh, the controller the only thing is that its level is shifted at uh, controller its level is 3.3 or 5 volts but after that driver it's uh, the same signal but uh, with plus 12 volts or plus 15 volts uh, volts signal so what does this do is basically that thing turn on and turn off the activities so as you can see here you are providing plus 12 volts okay then this is a 
fast switching diode you can use a 1N4148 1N4007 but uh, I prefer 1N4148 and here I am using UF484 so it's a fast switching drive uh, diode so this 12 volt will be forward bias and the purpose of this is now just now to reverse bias there after that as you can see there are two bootstrap capacitors that I have added the purpose of bootstrap capacitor is to help and also act as a virtual supply as we can see that at very high at we are rotating at the PWMs at about um, uh, depending upon 10k 20k or 15k but at that fast switching we need a supply without fluctuation so for that purpose as you can see the RGBTs are turning off and on and off so for that these bootstrap capacitor will act as a virtual supply they are not a single supply but they act as a virtual supply so after that I had here two points first one is that and the second one is that so the signal which is coming for a high and the low it's the same signal which is at H point and but it is shifted to plus 12 volt so then this is being given at this point so this thing what will do it will turn on the RGBT and uh, as you can see it's when you provide 12 volts at the gate of the RGBT or MOSFETs then they are turned on so if you not providing a discharging path then that thing will remain turned on they won't stop or they won't shut it down until you provide a discharging path it's the same thing as in the case of a capacitor that if you charge the capacitor it will take very long time if you have not added a discharge path so this is will act as a discharge path so it will discharge and because of that fast switching is possible so I have tried my best to get a pure sine wave and in the simulation I have get this pure sine wave and this thing we have built on a hardware but we think we have built this thing many times and the results are pretty much similar so let's run the simulation so here as you can see the LCD is initialized set value is here now let's just um, throw it down and see set their ground point slowly slowly it will get stable and as you can see here is a pure sine wave so let me show you its frequency so here is the cursor As you can see the time period is 20 millisecond for one wave let me turn off the other ones so that you can see clearly so as you can see that one high signal and the other one negative pulse so a total is of 20 millisecond as 20 millisecond is basically 50 Hertz so the frequency of this signal is 50 Hertz
now let's see remaining signals added so here they are added and it's a working circuit as you know the simulation is slow so the motor is running but its effect as you can see is very little bit slow because um, as you can see here that um, simulation is not running in real time due to excessive CPU load so the load on the CPU is very high so that's why it is running slow but if you are using good PC then the results will be very good so thank you guys for watching please like share and uh, subscribe my channel my channel name is electronic solutions and if you need help for your project you can contact me at my gmail id i'll also paste uh, a link in the description and my gmail id is over here Over here is my Gmail ID T A H M E D four five zero 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 at the rate of gmail.com. So thank you guys for watching and uh, if you want these simulation files, codes files, I'm happy to help you. You can get them just by sending a mail at my mail ID. Take care, bye bye.